Patrick Serreus from uh, Rotterdam. I'm in the studio here with uh, Thomas Pilgrim, who is going to present uh, in a few days his trial of science versus Osiro. Thomas, can you tell us in a few words uh, what about it? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. The bioscience trial was a randomized controlled non-inferiority trial uh, comparing the biodegradable polymer serolimus saluting stent versus the durable polymer everolimus saluting stent. Uh, what we found at 12 months was that the cumulative incidence of target lesion failure, which was a composite of cardiac death, target vessel myocardial infarction, and uh, clinically indicated target lesion revascularization, amounted to 6.7% in both treatment arms, uh, according to Kaplan Meyer estimates. So, non inferiority uh, was established for the biodegradable polymer serolimus saluting stent with an absolute risk difference of minus 0.14%. What, what was your uh, expectation in starting that trial? I mean, after all, 6.7. Uh, these days it's uh, below two digit. Uh, could you expect much better than uh, within? Uh, less than 5% or what was really the reason to do that trial? No, uh, the trial was actually powered based on reported event rates from uh, the COMPARE trial, from the RESOLUTE all commerce trial and from the LESSON registry and we assumed an event rate of approximately 8% in both treatment arms in order to uh, uh, show non-inferiority with an expected margin of non-inferiority of 3.5%. And I think this event rate and also the non-inferiority margin is uh, is uh, according to uh, other trials that have recently been published. I saw that you made some uh, observation in uh, STEMI. Uh, do you believe that you have uh, enough number to come to a conclusion? I mean, I saw some numbers like uh, 7 and 14 of uh, really borderline. Is just just serendipity or something that you believe in? Yeah, that's well possible. I think we have to be cautious, not to be too enthusiastic about this finding. Uh, uh, the chances are uh, that this may be a pure play of chance, uh, since the trial was not powered to assess any differences in clinical outcome among patients with ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. However, uh, the, the analysis was uh, pre-specified for presence or absence of uh, ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. We included a substantial number of patients with ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. It was 20% of our overall cord. So and can we expect from the future? I saw also that uh, maybe you will have to wait longer. I mean, with the biodegradable uh, coating, you never know. I saw that some definite stent thrombose with increasing with time any expectation for the future and what is the position of this new device in the uh, landscape? Well, I mean, um, the biodegradable polymers may attenuate the inflammatory response in the vessel wall after stent implantation. And uh, we were talking about ST segment elevation myocardial infarction before. Well, maybe uh, this improved healing response of biodegradable polymer uh, serolimus saluting stents may even be enhanced in this inflammatory milieu of ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. The other thing is also due to this improved healing response, we may expect uh, a, a benefit during long-term follow-up as we have seen in, uh, in the LEADERS trial, for example. Okay, many things for the future. I mean, uh, we are not at the end of all the response and uh, new, new studies and new theory and new hypotheses. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas. Thanks a lot.